Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to build a simple RSVP tracker in Google Sheets. With this tool, you can set the event date, store your guest information, mark their RSVP status, and view a comprehensive summary on top. And it's a pretty fun build, so I encourage you to give it a try. And if not, you can always download the template via the link in the description. That being said, let's get started. You want to begin with a blank Google Sheet spreadsheet and start by selecting columns K through Z. Then right click on the column headers like so and delete those columns. Next, click here in this box, which is called the name box. Type in 39 colon 1000 and press enter. This will select rows 39 through 1000. Right click on one of the row headers and delete the rows. Now select all of the rows that remain. Right click, resize rows, set the size to 30. Click OK. Then also increase the font size to 11 and change the vertical alignment to middle. Now select row 2, hold control, also select rows 7, 9, and 36, then right click, resize rows, set the size to 20, and click OK. Then select column A, right click, resize columns, set the size to 50, and click OK. Then follow those same steps to resize all of the other columns to the sizes indicated on the screen. Okie dokie, once you have all of the columns sized correctly, the next step is to turn off the grid lines by going to View, Show, and Uncheck Grid Lines. Then click here to select all cells, click the Fill Color button here, and add a light gray fill color. Awesome! The worksheet structure is now ready to go. Let's set up the three main spaces that we are going to work with next. Begin by selecting the range B2 through D7, click the Fill Color button, and select Reset. Then select F2 through I7, click the Fill Color button, Reset, and finally select B9 through I36, Fill Color, Reset. Fantastic! Let's begin with the space on the bottom. This is going to be the guest list that will hold your guest information and their indicated RSVP. Start by selecting cell C10 and enter name. Skip one cell, enter email, then phone. Skip one cell and enter RSVP. Then select these cells, bold the font, then click the borders button change the color to blue, and click this to add a bottom border. Nice. Now I want you to select the range C11 through H35. Click the borders button, change the color to light gray too, then add middle borders and a border on the bottom. Then to finish up the space, select the entire white box, Click the Borders button, change the color to light gray 1, and click here to add outside borders. Awesome! Now is a good time to add in a few sample names like so. We will come back to add the RSVP status indicators here in a little bit. But before that, let's focus on the top right space next. Go ahead and select the range, click the Borders button, and add the outside border. Then select columns F through H and change the horizontal alignment to right. Next, select cell F3 and enter no response, then no, maybe, and yes. These will be your four RSVP status options. 
Now, if you want your options to be different than this, then all you have to do is change them right here. Either way, once you have them, select the status options, bold the font, and increase the font size to 12. Now, for the RSVP status indicators below, select the range H11 through H35. Then, go to Data, Data Validation. Click on Add Rule, and for the criteria, select drop down from a range. And for the range itself, select the options in F3 through F6. Then click OK, and you should see the options show up here. Once you do, you can customize the color of each option. Just click the gray circle next to each option that you want to customize, and select the color that you want. And you can do this for any or all of the different options. Then, once you've got it the way that you want, just click on Done. You should now be able to assign a specific status to each guest like so. Fantastic! We are now ready to add in the formulas to calculate the numbers and create the chart on top. So, start by selecting cell G3 and enter the following formula. Equals count if function h11 through h35. And then add in dollar signs to make this an absolute reference. Add a comma to move to the next argument. F3, close parentheses, and press enter. As a side note, if you live in a country where a comma is used as the decimal separator instead of a period, then you might have to write your formula like this instead with semicolons used as the argument separators instead of commas. Just something to be aware of. Either way, once you have the formula working, use the fill handle to copy the formula down for the other status options as well. Nice. Now for the chart. Select cell H3 and enter the following formula. Equals sparkline function g3 next argument open bracket quote chart type quote comma quote bar quote semicolon quote max quote comma max function g3 through G6, and be sure to add in dollar signs to make this an absolute reference, close parentheses, semicolon, quote, color one, quote, comma, quote, light gray, quote, close brackets, close parentheses, and press enter. And of course, if you are using semicolons as your argument separators instead of commas, then your formula is going to look like this instead. Then, once you have it working, use the fill handle to copy the formula down for each status. Now to change the colors of the bars, select cell H4 and change the color here to pink. Then select cell H5, change the color to light blue all one word, then select H6 and change the color to light green. Okie dokie, all that's left now is the event date, so select the range C3 through C4, and click this button to merge the cells into one. Then increase the font size to 16, bold the font, and change the horizontal alignment to center. Use the fill handle to copy the cell down to the two rows below, then add a light gray fill color. Now select the cell above and type in event date. Select the cell below and type in the date of your event. You can then customize how this date looks by clicking the More Formats button here. Select Custom Date and Time, select a date format that you like, and click Apply. Then for the finishing touch, select the whole box, click the borders button, 
and add outside borders like so. Just like that, you are finished with your RSVP tracker in Google Sheets. Now, before you go, there's one more thing that I want to show you, and that is how to add more rows to your guest list below. To expand the guest list, all you have to do is select a number of rows somewhere in the middle, right click, and insert rows above or below. And doing it this way will preserve the formatting and the formulas that we added on top. Other than that, I hope you had a lot of fun and maybe even learned something new. Also, be sure to leave me a comment if you have any thoughts or questions. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day.